Hello YouTubers, today is your lucky day. So you want to install Macintosh using only Windows OS? Well, it is possible now and you will only need this software from here. Links for this software which is free will be in description. So let us start by inserting USB. Wait until you are able to open your USB. So everything is ok here. Let us proceed. Now you need to open OSF Mounter. This is the software that will do the magic. It can mount FE partition in the image. Now open image of El Capitan with this software. Here it is, now click open. Now select FE partition because you will only need this FE partition and nothing else. Don't forget to uncheck read only drive because you will be unable to copy anything if you don't uncheck this. As you see you can now edit FE partition and that is the crucial part. Now open FE Clover Cacht and find 10.11 folder. You will need to put SATA cached here in order to avoid still waiting for root device. You won't be able to see your hard disk if you don't do this step. As you see I already copied all cached that I need here. Now you can just click dismount all and exit. Your image is now prepared for writing. So the next software we'll be using is Win32 Disk Imager. This software will write our image to USB. You just need to select your image and click write. My El Capitan image is on desktop and I will select that. process has started and it will take about 15 minutes to finish so I will just skip that to the end. When this process finish you will have bootable USB that can install El Capitan on your PC. And just for the note, uh, don't forget that uh, image of El Capitan you obtain must have uh, Clover pre-installed on that image. So don't forget that it, this won't be happening if Clover isn't installed. and the process has finished. You shouldn't be able to see your USB now. So let's just refresh this. And once more. So everything is ok now and I will do some final preparation
so I will now create a partition and name it in order to avoid confusion. First I will shrink this partition and create enough free space for my El Capitan installation and I will create new partition from that free space and uh, name it El Capitan. This is not required but in this way I will definitely know where to install my El Capitan. It will be about 30 gigs. Now you have everything you need to install El Capitan. Partition is here and we need only to restart our PC now and boot from USB. Now selecting USB and starting installation. It will be very slow, especially first boot from the USB. Now selecting USB with Clover Bot Loader and this will be very slow. I will need to skip this part because you don't want to watch this black screen for a 10 minutes. So don't restart your PC now, just wait for about 10 minutes or maybe it will be much faster on your PC because this is very old PC. After about 5 minutes uh, booting process started and as you see everything is working as it should. No errors, no anything wrong. And another important uh, advice for you if you have Radeon graphic card with dual BIOS, don't forget to try first and second po position of the BIOS switch because my card didn't work in original BIOS position. I had to uh, switch that BIOS to second position in order to 
work with El Capitan. This is also a part where you will need to wait for about 20 seconds. And if you're thinking what about that smoke, <laughs> it's not from my PC, <laughs> it, it is a cigar. Here it is, installer started. So click next now, of course, and now go to disk manager. Now you can see partition that we made in Windows, we and name it El Capitan. Just select that partition and reformat it with journalet system. Now we can select this disk and install El Capitan on it. And if you didn't put that SATA cache, uh, you won't be able to do this. You won't see any hard disk. And installation process has started. We will skip that because it will take about 40 minutes. And here it is, installation is almost complete. Just a couple of seconds more and now you can click restart or wait this 4 seconds. And now boot with your USB again, but this time select a uh, hard disk where you installed your El Capitan. Now the boot process will be much, much faster because it is on hard disk. And as you see, it almost took no time to boot this OS and um, I will just leave this for you to see how time does it take to bo fully boot El Capitan.
don't be scared uh, with this black screen it can take about four or five seconds and as you see everything is working like it should work without any problem If you reach this screen then congratulations because you successfully installed your Macintosh OS and as essential fact that needs to start the system for the first time the only thing now you need to do is just set up your Macintosh OS follow this instructions and when you reach desktop you only need to install all your cacts on hard disk and of course install clover if you want to boot directly from hard disk and not use USB for every time you want to boot your OS you can install these cacts to system library extension if you want but I usually put all cact that my motherboard needs in uh, FE Clover partition and 10.11 folder because it always works I, I didn't have any problem with that type of installation and sometime when I install in system library extensions cacts they doesn't work but uh, also remember not to put all cacts in this folder that I mentioned uh, it could cause some errors and you will have to find a way to remove that cacts and it could be very tricky so that's it all programs that I used will be in description and you can't go wrong with this method you only need to find cacts for your motherboard because I can't cover all the cacks uh, because there is too many different types of motherboards so if you find this helpful in any way don't don't forget to subscribe like comment share or do whatever you want to do with this video have a nice day and enjoy your new macintosh os